Hey guys, Brian here. Welcome back to another Cummins Heister episode. So, I'm gonna fool a bit with the turbo here. You may remember from a long time back, I uh, machined this little tiny exhaust housing to put on this HX40 with the uh, intentions of uh, making boost basically at idle to increase this thing's off idle torque capacity. Not that that's really needed, but it, uh, I mean, if you can have more, why not, right? But it's way too restrictive. I'm getting a lot of drive pressure versus boost pressure. So I'm gonna fire it up here and we'll look, look compare the numbers, but before I take this off and try a different charger on here, but in order to do it, I'm gonna have to change this manifold because uh, I don't have enough hood clearance up here. And I actually look like the uh, hood's been rubbing on the top of this anyway. So we'll uh, get this drop down and moved over and man, that'll make this go a little easier. So let's uh, see what we got here. Yeah, I still haven't put any wires on it. I know, I'm a slacker. So you can see like 35 pounds of drive if not even 20 pounds of boost. So that's not good. Plus that's with like no load on it. So that's not good either. The housing's just way too restrictive for this size engine. So I'll take it off and try something else. All right, so the new turbo fits with the different manifold and it'll clear the hood. I don't have the air pipe hooked up yet, so I have to fabricate something there. I'm thinking about maybe just putting a watered air after cooler on this thing. I think it'll help in the winter time when it's really cold to increase the intake air temp blowing through the chart through the after cooler because it's a coolant temp and maybe help reduce some idle smoke uh, when it's really cold outside. And then of course, if it's up on boost making ultimate power, it'll reduce the intake air temperature and just kind of keep it the same all the time instead of going up and down like it does now. And uh, this 55 just barely fits. So it barely clears the manifold there, but I got the oil drain on and everything that's like it's supposed to be. So it's back operable even without the uh, intake hooked up. I'm sure you probably won't hear it.
burns pretty clean when it's hot. So as you can see, it took me so long to get this charger installed that my beard grew out. But uh, <laughs> anyway, uh, I get some more parts for this thing to finish this up or decide exactly what I'm gonna do. If I'm gonna do the after cooler set up or not. I'll get this together and I'll take this thing for a test drive and see how it runs compared to the other turbo that was on here. I think it's going to be a lot better. It's more appropriately sized. So thanks for watching. Thanks for subscribing. I'll catch y'all later.